Hello, I'm Wolf Blitzer in Washington. We want to welcome our viewers in the United States and around the world. We're following breaking news out of the crisis in Ukraine. Armed gunmen have now forced a United Nations envoy out of Crimea. This is a photo of the envoy, Robert Seri, taking refuge at a cafe with a TV reporter after gunmen tried to get him into a car. Seri later left for the airport, saying he was happy to leave Crimea if it would help reduce tensions. Also right now, we're waiting for the Secretary of State of the United States, John Kerry, and the Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, to conclude their talks in Paris. We expect, we expect that they will be speaking to reporters. We'll have live coverage of that. Uh, in the meantime, let's go right to CNN's Anna Corrin. She's joining us from Crimea. Uh, Aaron, this UN, uh, Anna, this UN envoy uh, had to leave, leave a coffee shop. It was an ugly scene unfolding. Tell us what you know. Yeah, an ugly scene indeed, Wolf. We understand that uh, Robert Seri was surrounded by up to 15 armed gunmen. They ordered him to get into a car and head straight to the airport. He resisted. He was then led into a, a coffee shop and uh, ITV reporter James Mates uh, was with him and tweeting in real time as to what was uh, taking place. So we understand that they were in that coffee shop, which is not very far from where we are here in Sanferopol and uh, they were there for a, a period of time and, and then as you uh, mentioned in your introduction he agreed to, to leave, uh, to quit his post here in Ukraine. He is of course the uh, special envoy uh, to Ukraine, quit his post and leave the country to try and de-escalate the, uh, the situation. We don't know why these local militia had such a problem with uh, Robert Seri, but you would have to assume these local militia, militia are pro-Russian. Obviously, whatever Robert Seri was saying uh, didn't uh, seem to uh, agree with these, these local uh, militia. So they've ordered him to the airport. He is there now uh, due to catch his flight um, out of uh, Ukraine and, as uh, we mentioned, try and de-escalate the situation, Wolf. It's a very tense situation, underscored by that incident. Uh, I want to get back to you, Anna. Stand by uh, in the meantime. 